Shrine is a new cloud gaming startup company in North Carolina. Their mission is to make high-end gaming experiences affordable and simple for everyone. They just launched their beta for Eastern US users in early February of 2022, and they're currently focusing on improving streaming stability and expanding capacity to the rest of the US. In this video, we'll go into the specifics of each tier. Let's put Shrine to the test. Now before we dive into the specifications of each tier, it's important to know that Shrine's infrastructure is using AWS or Amazon Web Services for their cloud-based instances. Primarily, they are using the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2. And under this platform, they're using the G4 and G5 virtual instances. With this setup, Amazon is way ahead of the game when it comes to cloud instances being able to deploy custom virtual workstations with a click of a button. The G4 line has two different tiers. The G4 DN tier, which are lower costing NVIDIA GPUs consisting of Tesla T4 GPUs. And the second tier, the G4 AD tier. These are powered by AMD Radeon Pro V520 GPUs, which are currently the staple of the G4 line. This is because this is the most cost efficient tier with 45% better performance over the G4 DN tier. And finally, Amazon has a high-end tier featuring the latest generation of NVIDIA GPUs, equaling the power of the RTX 3080. They call this the G5 tier. Now this tier is about three times the power of the G4 tier. Now Shrine currently has three tiers, utilizing two variations of the G4 AD line, skipping the G4 DN line altogether. It's using the AMD EPIC 7R32 CPU. It's also using the AMD Radeon Pro V520. From what we found, the 7R32 version of the AMD EPIC processor, also known as the ROM version, was designed specifically for Amazon Web Services. This second generation of AMD EPIC CPUs are now Amazon's most optimal choice when building virtual cloud instances. It has a clock speed of up to 3.3 GHz and has a whopping 48 cores and 96 threads, being able to support up to 96 virtual CPUs. This processor is the game changer for all AWS. The AMD Radeon Pro V520 is a workstation's graphics card. I would consider it a mid-range card comparable to the RTX 2060 or the RX 5700 XT. Now here's a graph showing how well it performs over the Tesla T4. Now one card it does beat out is the Nvidia Quadro P5000, which most shadow machines are running. Now here's Shadow's 3D score for comparison. The basic tier scored just under Shadow's, while the standard tier scored above it. So if you want a machine similar to Shadow's, the mid tier will outdo Shadow and cost less. You'll just have to worry about the 40 hour monthly time limit. Now here's the truly epic line. This is Amazon's G5 tier. These tiers also use the AMD EPIC 7R32 CPU. This line also has 32 gigs of RAM. Now for the GPU, they're using the NVIDIA A10G, which is the same GPU GeForce Now is using for the RTX 3080 line. Now performance for the premium tier is pretty stellar. For $39 a month, and depending on how much you play, this could be your ticket to a super high-end gaming machine. But, if you are a hardcore gamer, the 1.5 hours per dollar spent might not be enough for you. Still, this might be one of the cheapest options to play on an RTX 3080 quality machine, if you play under 60 hours a month. That equates to $468 a year, not too bad. Overall, Amazon's line of cloud gaming machines are a game changer in the industry. Being able to spin up a wide variety of cloud computers through AWS is now an easy task. They also perform well and are easy to connect to. I have a feeling we'll be seeing a lot more startup companies using AWS to provide cloud gaming PC rentals in the near future. Hopefully there'll be more competition so the prices drop and we'll see a more competitive price plan. If you like this benchmark of Shrine, give us a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on cloud gaming at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.